I think when you play at the highest level and when you're playing in the NFL, you kind of have to be overconfident. Like you have to believe in yourself to a point where it almost looks ridiculous. And isn't that the thing with Jim Harbaugh? He looks ridiculous sometimes, but the resume doesn't lie. What he's been able to accomplish in the coaching ranks, I feel like I can't question his ways of coaching simply because he's been so good. Now that he's a coach in the NFL again, he has the highest win percentage of any active coach in the NFL. So, Jenks, we've said this. Jim Harbaugh looks crazy, but can you really question his strategies when he's been this good? No, you can't. He's won at every level. He is one game away from having a Super Bowl and a national championship, and that is a very, very select group. So I think while on the outside it may seem unorthodox, I think it's pretty clear that he finds a way to connect with his players. And so mm-hmm. it's it's kind of like, well, yeah, maybe he's a little odd to you, but we love him. We love the way he coaches us. We love the way he interacts with us. We love the way he takes care of us. And you've probably seen the videos. He's out on the practice field on a sled with these guys. And so he's working them, but also he's working with them. Like, isn't he the guy making his coaches run sprints with the team? I think that's right. <laughs> Imagine Sounds if like you're him. a Yeah. And he's like, my God, this guy isn't just talking the talk. He's walking the walk. He's making his own guys sprint out here with us. And as crazy as that may sound, as unorthodox as that may be, if you're a player, you got to be like, all right then. Like, we're all in this together. And so you really never know what happens inside a locker room when you have those one-on-one conversations or whatever a coach is saying to a team when he's not mic'd up. And so I think that's probably the the special sauce, if you will, of what makes Jim Harbaugh good. And also I think he's just a great offensive mind or a great – Football mind is probably a better way to put it. And so when you think of it that way, then I understand why he's successful, even though from the outside he has his little idiosyncrasies. But honestly, if he's saying weird things or he likes milk with his steak or he likes wearing his khaki pants, those things might seem strange, but they have nothing to do with what happens on the football field. Yeah, and you can't argue with results. The NFL is the ultimate results-based league. And I think the other thing is sometimes you see college coaches come in and maybe they don't command the respect that I think Jim Harbaugh does because he's done it in the NFL as well. So when you have the results to back it up, I think the players certainly see that and they Mm -hmm. respect it. All right, Jenks, so let's get into what we expect from the Chargers this season. Uh, Last year, if you remember, it was a disaster. The Chargers chargered all over themselves. They went 5-12, and didn't make the playoffs, and also blew a 27-point halftime lead (laughs) in a single game. So this year, we have gone on and on about what Jim Harbaugh has done. But Mm -hmm. sometimes these things take time. Sometimes it takes more than a season, and even more than like half a season. Because the thing is, in the NFL, if you get off to a slow start, it can be really hard to climb out of a hole. Um, And plus, this is a completely different roster, at least when it comes to the offense, with the exception, of course of Justin Herbert at the quarterback position. Uh, The Chargers no longer have Austin Eckler, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Gerald Everett. And between those guys, that is 50% of the career completions that Justin Herbert has in his career. So he's going to have to develop chemistry with a completely Mm -hmm. new staff. Uh, So, Jenks, do you think that this is going to be a turnaround quick enough for this Chargers to win nine games because that's what the win total set for the Chargers this season I mean maybe so I really like what I'm seeing here when you look at their running backs for example and we know the Chargers want to run the football more than the Chargers have in the past right Mm -hmm. J.K. Dobbins is a guy who has a ton of talent just could never get right never get healthy with the Ravens and Gus Edwards I think is underrated so when he was with Baltimore he would just run downhill he'll just keep coming at you which is exactly the type of running back of course that Jim Harbaugh likes now the receiving core is one where they're gonna have to start living up to expectations so they have Josh Palmer and then Quentin Johnson out of TCU was okay last year but he's really got to step up in his second season he was great as a horn frog and then they drafted Lad McConkey And I think he's going to be very good in the NFL. He was awesome at Georgia. So even though they don't have that top-level talent they used to have at receiver, 
I mean, those guys were always banged up anyway. I think they're going to miss Austin Eckler in a huge way. But there's a lot of potential in that receiving core. And so I think if there's more balance on the offense, which is the key because they want to take some of that pressure off of Justin Herbert, I think they can be effective on that side of the football. And they drafted Joe Alt out of Notre Dame. Absolute stud Mm -hmm. at right tackle. So that's one of those... I don't want to say can't miss, but I bet Joe Alt is a can't miss guy. He's going to start from day one and be a stud there on the right side of the line. Yeah, I thought they had a really smart strategy in the draft, going for offensive linemen, trying to protect the face of your franchise, yeah. who is certainly Justin Herbert. And that's the thing. That's the hardest position to find in the NFL, and the Chargers have had it. Justin Herbert is as talented as they come. The numbers, if you remember, it's rookie season. The guy beat out Joe Burrow. Even when Joe Burrow Burrow was healthy during that stretch of the year, we know he went down. But still, Justin Herbert has been compared to a bigger Aaron Rodgers. Let me repeat that. A bigger Aaron (laughs) Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is going to be in the Hall of Fame. So this feels like a team that's been a coach away from being a solid football team. So maybe they turn the corner now that, you know, Jim Harbaugh is, you know, running things in LA but here's the other x factor LA has not had much of a home field advantage (sighs) since they moved to LA I wonder if this is going to be different if they start winning because sometimes we see this like in warm Mm -hmm. weather climates if the team's not good why would you show up uh because I was looking at the schedule the Chargers have a pretty easy schedule they have a last place schedule they start off with the Raiders Panthers Steelers and then they have the Chiefs So the schedule seems pretty winnable, especially with like some easy home games in there. But does it make a factor? Is it a factor when your team doesn't have much of a home field advantage when you're looking at strength of schedule? Yeah, it does. Sucks. It really does. When -hmm. you should have the crowd behind you and you don't. We've had this problem here in D.C. for a long time at Commander's Field. I mean, my God, the team has been so bad for so long. Now it's going to get better that you'll play the Eagles or you'll play the Giants and then half the, or the Steelers and then half the fans there are from the opposing team. And just imagine thinking, all right, we got the crowd behind us. And then you hear the other team on the field and they've got just as much support. That's brutal. So for the Chargers, I would hope. And, it you know, this is a smart hire when you talk about Jim Harbaugh as as a name. You know, some some head coaches just get more attention than others because of their history, because of their personality, because of what they've accomplished. And when you talk about Jim Harbaugh, he is one of those names that will always be in the headlines because he's Jim mm-hmm. Harbaugh. And so that will draw fans to the stadium as well. So I think if he starts putting together a winner, and I believe in him to do so, and you have a figurehead like that who is kind of a celebrity in his own right, if you will, then I think that will help put more butts in the seats. But there's no question that if you go to Arrowhead versus SoFi, Arrowhead's going to blow your mind, and SoFi's going to be like, eh, 